Here we are at Maggie's farm, the best place to find your herbs, spices, oils, and perfumes. Let's take a look. our medicinal herbs. When it starts up here is all of our culinary herbs. So you can take a look and if there's any spice that you don't know about or you'd like to learn about, I'd be happy to just share what I know about with you. So if you want to start up there and kind of look around and ask me anything or... Well first I want to ask you about the organic beef powder. The organic beef powder, okay. I mean what kind of flavor does it have? You know, I haven't tasted it. Uh, no, I haven't. We got it because somebody wanted to use it for cosmetics because it's a natural coloring like in blushes and lip stuff. But since we bought it, so many people have been interested in it for just, uh, beets are supposed to be really good for you. They're high in potassium yeah. and, and stuff like that. So, uh, mostly I think either people put it in their shakes or smoothies to get the nutrition aspect from it. I don't know if it tastes that great. It tastes like beets, probably roasted beets. Or so do you like beets? Um, I like the game beets. <laughs> the pickle like cup. Beets. Yeah, but anyway, so that's what they use it for mostly is like cosmetic. But yeah. it's also very nutritious. Okay. And what kind of taste does the hickory salt have? Since well, I'll tell you what, the best way to kind of figure out how something tastes to me is to it's smell just... it. Hmm, that smells smoky. It is smoky. It's like a it's got a it's probably salt that they laid out on some sort of a bed or something and then smoked it with hickory smoke underneath it. Yeah, this one Good. right here is one of my favorites. The applewood smoke, it's yeah. mine too. Actually, it's mine too. Have you ever had applewood bacon? Mm, I haven't tried it with bacon. It's Good. a little strong. Well, it's a bacon that is smoked in applewood. You can get it at some places, yeah. but it's very good. Our soy, celery, kelp, curry, horseradish. It's really good to put just in a, like a shaker. And if you use this, you probably don't need any extra salt. Yeah. But I put it on everything. Really? Just about everything. I do. I like it. Yeah. All right, sounds like a cool You'll probably see it if you go to Whole Foods or some restaurants, kind of health food stores and like that. Yeah. They usually have it on their table, like in a little jar. Oh. Want to take some spike home, too? Yeah, I think that okay. I need some spike. Just because it seems cool. And I have a question. What's this? Those are called uh, Just because pink they're... peppercorns. Oh, okay. You have some of those? Uh -huh. So you know how they taste, right? Yeah, yeah. they're kind of sweet and Kind of fruity, yeah. They're not too often. Oh. These are the habanero ones. Yes, they're very hot. And there's the cayenne powder, which we already have some. Mm -hmm. And the one right beside the habanero are just the crushed red chili yeah. peppers that aren't as hot. And you know, you yeah. use those in a lot of things. And we already have some chipotle mm -hmm. powder. It's You're good then. You got a lot of stuff, don't you? Yeah. It's a, I'm not sure about whether we have any of the hot chili. It's not that hot. You know, it just has a little extra cayenne in it, but it's not that spicy. I think if you have chili powder, you're probably covered. Okay. Yes, that's yeah, good. all the uh, good spices mm -hmm. that I like. And let's see. A lot of these salts I found out about, you know, because I really like to watch the Food Network. Really? So, uh-huh, so I is found out, like, about the Dead Sea salt, it's just a really good salt from the Dead Sea. It's really good. People not, don't necessarily cook with it. They use it in bath salts in their bath and stuff uh, like that. All right, so you that can cook is... with it, though, but it's a little expensive to cook with. Yeah. Same thing with the poor sea salt. It's just like, uh, you could do that, that, I mean, you know, to brine stuff. But yeah. this would be hard to cook with unless you had a grinder. Yeah, I get what you mean. With the salt in the grinder, you know, like pepper. And we have lots of different kinds of peppers. And then what well. kind of, why is that called grains of paradise pepper? You know, that's a good question. But, again, I heard about this on Food Network that they were using it, so I decided I had to have some. It's a very, not really hot, spicy pepper, but it really has got a lot of flavor to it. You should probably try some of yeah, this. Do you have a grinder? Uh, yes. Yeah. Hope to see you at Maggie's farm. Until next time, order up. And this is my signature applewood smoke sauce. Oh, now that sounds... Where did you get the idea for all this from? Well, we have a lot of spices in the kitchen. We just have a ton <laughs> of spices. And we go to Maggie's farm and we get a ton of spices. 
all the time, and we have all these different kinds of tea, and it's really a nice thing. And then one day, I decided that I would roll some green grapes in my rub, which I have right here, which I better stir up real quick, mm -hmm. so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. The cumin gives it a nice look. And then we made a nice salsa relish, and here's our frank steak. Would oh, you like wow. to try a bite? 